in this particular video we will study about organisms and environment so uh, organisms forms the population this is a group of individual belonging to the same species within an ecosystem so there are various type of adaptations take place by this population which may be terrestrial which is on land example is man then there is cursorial which is also land seen in cockroaches fossorial in which the animals dig and uh, stays in ditches and holes which is seen in rat and moles then there is arboreal which the animals lives on trees the tree dwelling animals which are monkey desert adaptation which is seen in camels obviously which live in desert and there is aquatic stays in water bodies like fishes and volant or aerial adaptation which the characteristic is flying the sky or tree tops which is seen in birds there are different types of competition in between the organisms staying together which are interference competition exploitation apparent competition intra specific competition and inter specific competition so in these interactions among different organisms there is a term known as symbiosis which means living together with biological interaction it is subdivided into three types number 1 mutualism the two organisms interact with each other and both of them are benefit it is seen in lichen in which algae and fungus remain together and bacteria in the stomach of cattle and mycorrhiza which is plant and fungus relationship the second one is commensalism the example of commensalism is which orchid living on a tree or branches growing at the back barnacles at the back of the whale in this commensalism the one organism is benefit other is neither benefited nor harmed and the third one is parasitism in which one organism is benefited and other is harmed which is known as host this is seen tapeworm flukes protozoa which lives on human blood and human organs like liver there are different types of parasites the one is ectoparasite in which the living on external surface of the body may be blood sucking insect second is endoparasite living inside the body which may be intercellular or intracellular then there is epiparasite also known as hyperparasite where one feeds on the other which in turn feed on the host so hyperparasite like protozoa and there there is example of social parasite the parasite take advantage of the social insect so parasite on ant and termites next is kleptoparasite in which parasite steals food and gathered by host so it is seen in hyena stealing food from tigers the next type is brood parasite where one species depositing egg into the nest of the other it is seen in cuckoo incubates egg in the nest of crow and the next example Uh, is of adelpho parasite in which parasite and the host species closely related to each other bonelia viridis which is citrus black haploid eggs are laid in fully developed larvae of their own species which results in formation of male offspring 
so there are different population factor responsible for population dynamics which may be natality which is number of birth per year divided by mid year population into 1000 next is mortality which is number of death per year divided by mid year population into 1000 then there is growth rate the increase in population due to actual number of individuals of added to the population which is natality minus mortality per unit time then there is density of the population is the total number of individuals in a population per unit time migration changes the density immigration and immigration can affect immigration is when uh, reduces the density and immigration increases the density of a population then there is biodiversity conservation IUC and classified of species so the type of species number one is endangered which is also known as threatened species the example is Asiatic wild as Silotum nudum These species whose number is reduced to a critical level or whose habits are adversely affected, if not taken care, they may become extinct. Second is vulnerable or depleted species in which the number is greatly reduced in recent time and is continued to be decreasing. It is seen in clouded leopard or musk deer. The next is rare species. The species number are few and restricted to a small geographical area. This is Great Indian Bustard or a Hawaiian Monk Seal. And the fourth type is inter indeterminate species. These species whose number are in danger of extinction but the cause of extinction is not known these are three banded armadillo which is seen in brazil and short eared rabbit and rhinosaurus so in this particular video we will see about the ecosystem and environment So there is ecological niche the word was given by Grinnell in 1971. Niche is to understand the interaction of the organism in a given habitat. It is divided or it is classified as spatial or habitat niche. It is a physical space. Then comes the tropic niche, which is the functional role of an organism in the habitat. And the third is multidimensional or hypervolumic. Or hypervolumic niche, which is the position of the environment in the gradient, which level they occupy. The ecosystem is a system is formed by interaction of living organism among themselves interaction with the surrounding. So the ecosystem structure consists of living or biological and non-living matter. Living may be autotrophic and heterotrophic. Autotrophic are producers which may be green plant 
photosynthetic, chemosynthetic or microorganisms and consumers may be macro consumer or micro consumer macro consumer includes herbivores carnivores omnivores micro consumer include decomposers saprophytes zonation is the term which means horizontal spatial pattern spatial pattern and stratification is the vertical spatial pattern and non living matter includes abiotic component which are climate organic compound lipid protein and inorganic substance then there is concept of productivity it is the rate of production of amount of organic matter accumulated in a unit time so productivity may be primary productivity secondary productivity and net productivity primary is produced by autotrophs or producers which is further divided into gross and net so gross is the total rate of photosynthesis net is the amount of organic matter stored by green plants secondary include by heterotroph or consumers net is the heterotroph consumers or rate of storage of organic matter this is net primary productivity minus heterotrophic consumption there is a small concept of decomposition which are caused by bacteria decomposers or saprophytic it helps in recycling of nutrients takes place through detritus food chain the process are fragmentation leaching catabolism humification and mineralization these are important steps in decomposition humification is the formation of humus which is decomposed organic matter while mineralization is the process of degradation of humus by some microbes so there are number of pyramids pyramids of number biomass and energy have to remember that all are inverted pyramids but the pyramid of biomass in aquatic ecosystem is inverted type which is mostly asked as the quantity of uh, primary producer that is phytoplankton zooplankton are very less and tertiary consumers are more and then there is energy flow in an ecosystem the quantity of solar energy of which 34% is reflected back 10% is held by ozone layer 56% reaches earth out of which 0.02% is utilized for photosynthesis there are two cycles in an ecosystem which are nutrient cycles of which first is carbon cycle and phosphorus cycle carbon cycle is a chief uh, ocean is the chief reservoir of carbon respiration and photosynthesis are complementary reactions limitation the fossil fuels are important stores of carbon dioxide animal also store carbon and then there is a phosphorus cycle it is a simple nutrient cycle no gaseous phase is there plant absorb phosphates from soil then there is a concept of eutrophication abundance of phosphates in water bodies 
causes overgrowth of algae which depletes oxygen so excreta of marine birds guano deposits are also rich in phosphorus and then there is ecological succession community is the sum total of population in a given habitat there are climax community and the pioneer community ecological succession has two types primary secondary primary succession open in open bare rock and secondary succession is in abundant crop field the pattern of ecological succession is hydrarch succession which is a hydrosphere example is pool and xerarch succession which is xerosphere seen in desert area or rock